Janet. Okay, I make a nomination that we um, elect Sharon Frank, Chairman Pro Tem, because our chairman resigned. A second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay, Sharon, take it away. All right, where's my name plate? I don't have one. Meeting call to order at 10.01. Okay, I call the meeting to order at 10.01. Mm -hmm. Roll call. Sharon Boyer. Janet Wilson. Sharon Frank. Judy Jensen Ringle. Carolyn McClure. Lynn Wheatley Beaupre. Okay, and um, Elaine is out on an appointment, and that concludes our roster. Mm -hmm. We have a moment of silence for the sick and departed. Okay, we move on. Acceptance of the minutes. I think you've all got copies of the minutes of the last meeting. You want to take a fast look, see if there's any changes or additions or corrections? And if not, we will approve them. I approve the minutes as written. Second. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Okay, we are done with that. <coughs> Director's report. Uh, so Wednesday is our holiday party. Um, we are at probably about, a, we're sold out, about 125 people. We have staff from Town Hall coming over to help serve and police and fire will also be here to help celebrate the holidays. Uh, so it should be a good time. We have California Carl from 12 to one. We have some good uh, door prizes that we'll do at one o'clock uh, from one to one fifteen. Then we have our ukulele group. They will be playing and singing. Um, I think they have four or five songs. And then we have a group from the Marion Art Center and they will be doing about a half hour of um, little, it's kind of hard to understand, but little snippets of holiday themed things. So the, she came by yesterday and offered it and I said, well, I don't know how long people will stay, but some will stay and some will leave as long as you're okay with that. And she's like, no, nope, that would be fine. So uh, the plan is to whoever's interested can um, stay and we're planning to have her come back with her group for a longer presentation, a longer event, I guess, at a different time. So hopefully it'll like introduce people to what they do. So sound like a, a good thing to try. Um, it's 13th is also a veterans pickup day and we haven't had one in a while because they moved up Thanksgiving. the second November pickup to a week early because of the holiday. And then there were five Wednesdays in November. So it has been a month since we've had a veterans pickup and people keep showing up every week, <laughs> sitting out in their chairs, waiting. Um, had somebody come in yesterday and I'm like, no, it's the 13th. So, um, so it will be busy here between all of the folks that are, yes. Will that be indoors then because of the weather? It probably will because it's so cold now. Yeah. So yeah. it'll be up in the- They'll be in the movie lounge right. room, okay. yeah. Um, that would be good. Yeah. So, so that'll, uh, that'll be happening that and- um, the news, um, newsletter is being submitted for January today. And, you know, our tickets are brisk for November, I mean, for January for the, the party. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, we just got a lot going on. It's really good, but it's, it's challenging to find times to schedule things and um, just challenging trying to keep up with everything. So that's about it. Okay, um, what I should have done first was to welcome our newest member, Judy Jensen Riggle, and our mascot, Daisy. Who's oh, is Daisy on. over there? She, oh, yeah, she's flaked out on the floor. I said, we're the only COA board that has a mascot. Mm -hmm. That's okay. Yeah, right. 
I think they maybe. played with her downstairs, so she's tired. So she's yeah. yeah. We, <laughs> they were running her around just to tire her out first. <laughs> so, uh, so welcome, Judy. Thank, thank you, you for your thank I'm, you for uh, very glad to be offering here. your service. Yes, welcome. Oh, board member updates. Sharon Boyer, what have you got? Anything? No, no, not at this no time. update. Okay, Janet. Um, a while back, uh, Jody Santagate, when she was our chairman, had done a lovely list for us with all our contact information, and that needs to be updated because several are gone. One, two, three, four, go four are gone, and three are new, so um, that needs to be updated, and I don't know um, if Elaine would be willing to do that or... Can you just type that up for us and send it to me, and I'll print it out? Um, I will try. Okay. I can do that for you. Oh, you can. Okay. I'll do it. Okay, good. Thank you, Nicole. Yeah. Okay. Um, I want to pass Sharon one of those. Uh huh. Thank you. I'll take one of these and pass it along. You know, I can't do this without putting my two cents in. I, Just I don't know what you got your two cents in about, but. Okay, okay. All right. Um, in our uh, rules, regulations, and bylaws of board members, <coughs> it has director duties of board of directors. It's on page three. So I think we just need to just, you know, take it home, read it, be aware of what we're supposed to be doing and what we're not. Um, back in the, in the old days, we used to operate on the see a need, fill a need philosophy. And we don't need to do that anymore. Now if we see a need, then we need to take the need to the proper staff person, whether it's Sharon or whether it's Melissa or an outreach person or the gal behind the front desk, whoever that might be. We need to go there. We need to direct the need to where it should be. We don't need to fill the need anymore. And I think we've kind of, we're still having a little trouble Adjusting. making that transition because we want to, we see it and we want to do it. And it's not our job to do it anymore. These, these things are what we're supposed to be doing now. And I think we need to concentrate a little more on, on that kind of thing. I think that will make Sharon's job, make your job easier too. You're not trying to pick stuff up from this person and this person. And yeah, it is a little, I have to be honest with you, it is a little challenging with, um, you know, I respectfully, you know, acknowledge all that this board has done to keep this building going for years. And it's hard to let go sometimes, but at the end of the day, the director is responsible. And so, Things cannot be decided without talking to me. Um, I, I get myself into situations, actually I should say, some of you put me into, okay, situations, into situations and yeah. people come to me, they take up my time, which is very limited, to complain about things that I know nothing about. Um, and it makes me look like I don't know what's going on. Um, it causes them to be upset. I have to look at every decision from our big perspective. How does this fit in with what we're trying to do here? That is very hard for somebody to do and they're, unless they're sitting in my seat. So you might make a decision about an, an example about not letting people save seats at bingo. My choice there would be, okay, we need more tables. I have had such a trouble. No, I'm not trying to pick, pick on anyone. I'm just saying, so, you know, if, if the reason you don't want to have people save seats is because you need more tables, then then come to me and I'll get more tables. But if you don't come to me, I don't know. So, you know, you need to, to come and identify whatever you see and, and bring it to me so that I can act upon it um, if appropriate. Uh, so keeping me informed is good. Um, it is extra complicated because there are so many Sharons. And it's, I know you, you laugh, but it, it is a big problem. People come in, are you Sharon? And you rightfully say yes. But most of the time, they're not looking for you, mm -hmm. okay? And it's the truth. So you need to say, you know, you need to go see the director. Um, and sometimes it's not easy to get to me. I know I'm very busy. I have 
Um, but if you can't get to me and you see something, go to Melissa. Melissa can like lurk and, and she knows when, you know, I have a gap in my schedule or whatever. Um, so we need to kind of work in more as a team than being isolated. I have been here over a year now. I know it's hard to break old habits, but it's been over a year. <laughs> so I think we really have to, to make a concerted effort here to, um, to just shift uh, come to me, talk to me. I don't need to decide in a silo, but I need to be aware, yeah. you know. Um, and it, not on things like, oh, do we buy coffee? Like that's, but I'm talking if you're gonna change, you want to change a policy, you want to change something that's um, in existence, this, this place cannot run like it did when we had a small membership. It just can't because Exploded. we have so many more people. And my finger is involved to some degree in every single thing that goes on in this building, whether you realize it or not. I have mountains of paperwork. Sometimes I'm involved just a little bit and sometimes it's, it's all the way. Um, it's, it just, it's necessity. There's, I only have one staff person as well. I have some good volunteers, but the volunteers can't make the decisions either. So it's all got to, well, it's including Daisy. Daisy uh, <laughs> so anyway, that's just my little diatribe. I know everyone is doing this in service of the COA and our, our seniors, and they want this place to be the best it can be. I want this place to be a happy place. Um, I'm just getting complaint after complaint after complaint about ridiculous things, about serious things, about everything in between. Um, and it's just not the atmosphere I want to create here. Right. Um, you know, this is supposed to be a fun place. It's supposed to be a place where people can come to confidentially to get services as they need them. And um, so I, I, you know, that to me is one of the biggest things that as my board members you can do is help foster that atmosphere. Right. Right. Um, so it's, it's, it's see a need, refer a need. Re, yes. yes, and the other big thing that if you could do for me, um, or no, do for the COA, yesterday at Bingo, we had 36 people, and only, well, 25 signed in, but three of them were volunteers. It was Sharon Boyer, Diane, and um, Rita. So of those 25, three weren't playing, but they rightly signed yeah, right. in. That meant 14 people there didn't sign in. Yeah. I went downstairs, I made a speech, and three more people signed in. I, if this continues, I am going to have to be a heavy. And I will have to embarrass people and I will have to ask them to wait. This is not optional. This is required. If you are in this building, it's a security thing. Mm -hmm. It's a numbers thing for the state. So all of you, go to different programs, and so please just say, hey, just a reminder, did everybody check in? If not, you need to. If you don't have a card, go to the office. We'll get you one. It's not optional. Yeah, I don't know how many times you said that yesterday afternoon yeah. when the people would come and yeah. know, buy their cards and stuff. She'd say to them, go sign in first. If you don't have one, mm -hmm. da -da 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 -da. now some of them said fine, some of them just they yeah, they blow it off. So I I was nice yesterday, and we have a <laughs> week right. where we don't have one. Well, next week is the party. Um, I, I'm starting with bingo because it's a bigger crowd. Right. And chair yoga is another one. We get 40 people, and, you know, we only have. I'll so half of this is every yeah. week. Think about it. 14 people in one program only every week. Mm -hmm. How many people are we not, are we missing? Mm -hmm. And why? Right. Could we have some signage at the entrances? I mean, you mean the application? Blinking, yeah. please yeah. sign in yeah. the kiosk. Other alternatives, some people, like there was a lady yesterday who gave me her keys, and I'm, I'm working with my senior center to see if I can fix this, and I don't know if I can. We have so many programs that when you scan in, the first screen you see has like maybe the first six things. Mm. And bingo, because it's later in the day, Mm -hmm. on the second screen. So the lady in question gave me her keys to sign in. She says, I tried, I couldn't do it. It's because Bingo was on the second screen and she didn't know how to get to the second screen. So I'm gonna try to move things like pool where we only have two or three people, get that on the second page. I don't know if I can. It says next page right on Right, there. but some people are so afraid of technology. Yeah. And, yeah. But the way around that is if they call 
the COA office. And Callan is one of our volunteers. If, if Callan takes the call and they say, I want to sign up for bingo for the whole month, she mm -hmm. puts them down and then we add them in. So we're covered, mm -hmm. they're That's, covered. Yeah. Um, so if they really don't want to do it, they need to, they need to call or they oh, need to okay. scan. Okay. No choice. I mean, a choice between those two, but that's it. Um, so, you know, I have to, I have to start cracking down. Okay. Is there any way we can change the location of the screen downstairs? To where? Well, you know how we set up for bingo. We have the table and the 50-50 and all that. Can we bring it right to the end of that table? Well, it needs to at be plugged bingo, in. At bingo. At bingo. So they have to do it, and then they get their 50-50, and then they get their cards, and then they go play, rather than across over here, over here. Can we do it, like, all in a row? Can we move um, that? Is there a way to plug well, that in, yeah, Sharon? As long as there's a plug, yeah, and Sharon, the plug is not somewhere somebody's going to trip. Trip over it. Yeah. yeah. That's yeah. the consideration. The cord, you know? Yeah. Um, but there's there's things that will cover a cord, like that gray thing in the right, middle. Right, right, yeah. Right, but we're not going to leave it there. No, but uh, at least for that those day. Are, those aren't permanent. So I'd have to put tape and stuff over it, oh, which is not do, a good thing with pickleball. and yeah, right. That's still okay. easy yeah. to trip on. But yeah. anyway, yeah. it can be moved, right? It can be moved, can yeah. Be moved. Oh, I would say if you were to take the table that you guys sit at. Yeah, we might better move the table. And put it right up against it and move it closer to yeah, to the screen okay. yeah all right yeah all right we'll do it so that they just kind of do it in a row okay may i just say something yeah. um the location that it's at now it's at the bottom of the staircase and i understand your point if you're going through the line yeah. but it would probably be best if you put it more towards the pool table because you have to have access from the elevator for people to come in with their walkers. Okay, so you so really can't block so that and make it the first it, one. move our table all the way over yes. to where the screen is? Yeah, we yeah. can shift it to the other side of the corridor there. But that's the only thing. More near the furniture. They come yes. the elevator, there'd be nothing there. We'll be across the way. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that might work better. Thank you. <laughs> Sharon's going, what are you talking no, about? No, well, I had assumed you would never block the elevator. That's never well, even I an know, option. So no. the elevator people would go behind you as they do now to get in. Well, kind of they go in front of us. But we're going to move it all the way across the hall. We won't be anywhere. So you're going to move you? Yes. yes. OK, that's fine. Us. Yeah. Judy, did you want to um, say something? I volunteer every week with Pam doing the chair yoga, mm -hmm. and I wasn't aware of this problem of people not signing in and stuff, but I certainly could come 15 minutes early, and as I greet them and they're coming in, I'm like, ah, could you sign in? Because oh, That would be great, because that, be that is a big program, that's too. another one. Yeah, that's that's that Aaron's there, too. If I miss somebody, she can grab them, yeah, but I wasn't aware of the problem, but I know a lot of them do not sign in. Do not sign in. And I'm going to kind of put you on the spot, too, Carolyn, because you have... You have a very different following. So you have a very full room, but I would say most of those people I was in there the other day, I, I don't see. So I don't think that they normally come here. I bet you a lot of them don't even have key tags. Um, all my girls from Bourne mm -hmm. make sure they sign in and okay, they, their key tags have been matched. Good. Now, just so you know, the other day, one of the guy, the one guy who's in my class, he signs in with his name and his phone number. He never had a key tag. Okay. He must so, have if, he's, if he no, can sign in. No, no, because I think what happened at some point, people were taking the lists and they were just making up sheets for them. Mm -hmm. Because when I looked in the, the folders, his name was there with his phone number. Okay. But he did not have a key tag. So mm -hmm. you, he can come to the office at any time. We can just give him we, one. We did that already. Okay. Or but he can, you can didn't come to the office do what he's been right. doing. Yeah, so either or. people can, the count works even if you don't have a key tag, so correct? Right. As long as you check yeah, off, like the lady yeah. yesterday, yeah. she was as checked in to the senior center, right. but not checked into bingo because she never actually hit bingo. Um, and so, yeah, so you can... Right. Either way works, and it so, either way counts as long as they hit card making or chair yoga or whatever. Yeah, so that's something that if, if the instructors of the classes are made aware that people can check in even if they don't have their cards, oh, you just yeah. have to put in your first name and your yeah, phone number. I never use my card. And you can check. Exactly. Yeah. But I'm, the, what I'm saying is if, if pe cause people say, oh, I didn't bring my card with me. Right. Okay. So, Still you know, it. tell them they can check in without their cards. Right. Yes, absolutely. So using their name and their telephone. Name and their tele first mm -hmm. name. First name okay. and phone and number. And then telephone number. Yep. 
Okay, and, and then you can advise them to go upstairs and get the thing. Uh, or they could yeah. come and get a card if they don't have one. If they don't have one. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. And Got if it. they have one from another senior center, mm -hmm. we can just take the number off of it and we can add it to our files. Oh, okay. So that yeah, they don't have to have. It doesn't automatically work, does it? No. No, it, it takes a day or two. Scan. It'll take yeah. a day or two till it gets put through. But then it would be valid and they don't have to. But it's valid and they only have to carry one card instead of one for Mary and one for us and one for. Good okay. to know. Good to know. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so that and was, then that was those key tags are super expensive. So if we don't have to keep dishing them out, we can like <laughs> born pay for them or wherever else. That's even better. <laughs> no, but um, <laughs> we absolutely can. And it does get confusing for people okay, if they so have to have multiple that tags. Was, so. That was my board member update. Judy, you're up. Board member update. Oh, what do I need? Did you, you have anything, anything you like wanted to contribute to, to us? As oh, <laughs> no, uh, you know, like I'm, I'm new and so like uh, I'm watching to see what kind of things are coming up and, and uh, you know, I do have a couple of ideas and um, I just wondered what do I, how do I uh, get on the agenda like to offer these out if you have an idea or do you just raise your hand and say, hey, mm -hmm. I think we should, for example, have another fashion show soon. Mm -hmm. Do I just raise my hand and say that, or does it have to go on the agenda? Um, it could go on board member updates, and you could certainly suggest it then. Um, it actually, having a new fashion show um, isn't something the board needs to. No. I mean, you can mention it, but it isn't something the board does. Um, so <laughs> it doesn't have to be that. You can just pop in and say, hey, let's have a, you know, what do you think? Oh, um, okay. And we are planning to have one in April. It doesn't um, have to go on the agenda? No. All right, like a brand new thing even. It's like, say if I said I, I saw some people playing different instruments, the piano and stuff, let's have a talent show. Mm -hmm. That I could, where would I take that idea to? <laughs> you could talk to me or you could talk to Melissa. Okay. Uh, Melissa is programs person and so she's kind of behind all of that. Uh, okay. Then would it go on the agenda or is that just something we don't deal with? So there's nothing wrong with putting it on the agenda. Um, it just doesn't have to be because it isn't a board matter, right? Okay. What we do for programming is not something the board oversees. Yeah, so, um, yeah, we could they certainly have, talk about have, it. Have to do that anymore. Separated. Okay. We could certainly talk about it. We could certainly talk about, hey, how you know, whatever. But it doesn't. It doesn't have to be because it isn't something the board oversees. Okay. Gotcha. So, okay. Yeah. One other uh, question I have is like where I worked before, of course I was a teacher for 40 something years, you know, and also a, ca uh, um, a counselor. But um, so if I have an idea, had an idea to, for them, they always said, please come with a couple of solutions. Do you like something like that? Like if I say something about the busing or something, you know, and, and but I, I, I know a bus driver, that would be my suggestion, you know what I mean, my, my solution that I would offer you. Do you sure. like that? Yeah, you, uh, yeah I'm, I'm open to anything, like we'll try anything, as long as it doesn't involve a big investment of money, because <laughs> I, so for example, we're starting a new program in February called, uh, it's a bar class, which is very similar to chair yoga, it's along those ideas, but it's a little different. And um, ideally, they have mats and something else, and I said, listen, three, let's do three months without it, if we get the attendance, I'm happy to buy it, but I'm not going to go out and buy mats and whatever the other thing is, I think it's bricks. Um, until I know people are gonna come, right? Okay. So I can't, I can't, we don't have enough money for me to just go out and spend it and hope it's successful. I need it to be right. successful and then I'll spend <laughs> the money. Uh, so that's kind of how I have to operate. If I had oodles of money, it would be different. Um, but yeah, that's okay. a dream. All right. I just <laughs> but yeah, money. but certainly, um, as long as it doesn't involve money, um, a lot of money up front, I am more than willing to try anything. Okay, you know. so suggestions would be helpful for you. Yeah. Yeah, sure. Some people take it like, oh, you're trying to take over. <laughs> no. Nope. I think she actually has a suggestion box. I saw it hidden somewhere. We did, and the only person that put things in there was someone who's no longer allowed at the COA, and it was, um, <laughs> they were outrageously, you know, ridiculous, and they had to do with drug counseling and, you know, things that. No, we don't do. The COA has a pretty wide path that we, services we provide, but um, we don't provide mental health counseling, we don't provide 
drug counseling. We don't, you know, there's, we're not medical professionals of any kind. Um, I can, if you come to me and you say, I have a substance abuse problem, I will get you someone that will help you that's trained and knowledgeable, but I'm not going to do it. I am just, it's, I can't, you know what I mean? So, um, if this person doesn't understand that distinction, and so I, and that was the only one that ever put things in the suggestion box. <laughs> well, that's, so. that's, that's why on the this duties, it says, assist in identifying the needs of the community, mm -hmm. which we can certainly do. Mm -hmm. um, assist in the design, promotion, and implementation of services and whatever through the director, depending upon what she needs us to do. Mm -hmm. Yes, and a lot of times with these great ideas, as I mentioned right now, I mean, Melissa is phenomenal. I wish I could clone her, um, but it's just she and I, and it's tough. It's really tough, and we do have a good stable of volunteers that help us with the, with the desk, um, but not all of them are equal. Um, so that's where you all can help us the most, is if we have these good ideas, help us implement them, because we can't, you know, I work nights, I work weekends, I just, you know, there's only so much we can do ourselves. Um, so if you can help us, once we get those ideas, run with them, that would be great. And it is very cold in here. And I never am cold, but I am it's really cold. In here. Anybody else? Carolyn, I don't know Europe. where the heat is. <laughs> I have nothing to, uh, to add. Okay. Thank you very much. Lynn, how are we doing um, over there? We're doing good. Um, I just, I think there's maybe um, with scheduling, and I know we have a lot of new activities in, um, with the bus trips and everything like that. Um, the holiday party landed with a bus trip, mm -hmm. and so I already had scheduled myself for the bus trip, and so I'm missing out on the holiday party. But I know it's you have to pick and choose. But if there's any way that things can not be duplicated on the same day, especially when they're big events like that, um, that yeah. would be helpful. It's, that was an unfortunate thing. We, uh, so a couple of things there. We book our trips, uh, we've already booked the trips for 2024. We don't know what's going on in December of 2024. Right. Our entertainer, Carl, he, Oh. He comes to us and he says, he's, he's $300 an hour. He is literally 60 minutes. Um, he has a, he is a professional, he makes his living from doing this. So he goes from one to another to another to another. Mm -hmm. So on the days that he goes to Chatham, he says to me, Sharon, I will do it half price if you can do it on our day. So guess what? I do it on his day. So he picked that day. It happened to coincide. Um, so yeah, it's, it, it wasn't a deliberate thing. Okay. Um, and some of these trips we book and they don't go. So to turn him down and then we end up having to cancel the trip, you know, this one is going cause we did get enough people, but sometimes we don't. So it's hard. We make, we have to make decisions well in advance and, but and yeah, we wouldn't deliberately schedule them at the same time. Okay. Just. So. That was my. Yeah. And then, you know, <laughs> even trying to find new programs, so looking at where we might put drums alive, it goes. Yeah, we don't have a lot of room in the schedule. And so. So many hours in the day. Somebody's like, hey, don't have that when it. I, I, I can't cater to, and I'm going to use you as an example. I'm not, it's just yeah. an example. But if you go to Marge's class and it's at the same time as something else, I can't help that. You know, you have a choice to make. Right. <laughs> so yeah. that's, we do our best, but. Uh, ladies. How nice it is that we have so many options to be able to make to have a choice. I know. For those of us who have been here a long time, let me tell you, it is outstanding mm -hmm. that you have to make a choice. Well, I'm glad I mean, to hear that's, that's a good that's thing. Just yeah. terrific. Yeah. I have been. Seen, I think we still have a lot of space on Friday afternoon. Uh, well, Friday afternoons is probably a dead time for, for COAs in general, but um, we have been looking at Fridays. The problem is we're afraid to put something on a, a Friday and have people 
Um, so there's somebody in this room who says, oh, I don't come in on Fridays. Um, and I'm not going to, actually two people at this board that I'm looking at right now that don't come in on Fridays. Um, and a lot of people feel day. that way. Our Friday lunches were very successful. Yeah, we, we either do a Friday or a Monday. Those are the only two days we can do luncheons. Yeah, yeah. Melissa's not here on Fridays. Um, so that means I um, lose, yeah. you know, Lynn Uberti is awesome, um, but having Melissa and Lynn, and you know, our, our events are so big now, we can't, um, so it's hard, yeah. yeah. I don't know if you could move drums to Friday or not. Kathleen wants to move drums, but she doesn't, last I knew, she doesn't want to do a Monday or a Friday because she likes to go away for the weekends. Um, so that will add a very popular program to three all very, very busy days. Wow, yeah. um, and I don't know how we're going to do that either. So, yeah. 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 We're just, <laughs> you can't please everybody. And there's so many people now, and everyone has an opinion. Um, so I don't know. How are the new chairs? Are the new chairs good? Oh, my uh, guess. We got them yesterday. I don't know which one I sat in this morning. I couldn't tell you. <laughs> well, it didn't break, so hopefully that was... They're all going to be better than, than the ones that were there, that's for yeah. sure. Well, I don't know. The others were super um, expensive and supposedly super high quality, and they are what? breaking left Those and right. Those ones that fold when you sit in them? Like, mm -hmm. not even... Yep. So these, I can't even tell you outrageous amount of money I spent on them. These are pretty uh, much like the ones that have been there. Right? Yeah, the, the commercial grade. Yeah. 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 Very expensive. Yeah. So. Okay. I guess that are we are through with board member update. We move on to COA logo. And our logo person's not here. Elaine was the one that was working on the logo, I think. Yeah, she was, um, I'm not sure. So she came to me and she said that she worked, uh, her daughter does some kind of work um, that uses a printer that will design a logo oh. as long as you order merchandise oh. using the logo. Um, I don't know that that logo work is really intense and um, I just, can't imagine if I ordered 50 shirts from somebody that they would actually create a logo for me. Um, it might be true. I just, I haven't had a chance to, to call and okay. confirm that. Um, someone, I think it was Elaine, made a suggestion on a logo idea, and I actually loved it, is to do the lighthouse. If, um, if you look at the Wareham like Police Gateway. Department's logo, mm -hmm. it has the lighthouses, gateway to Cape Cod, and the weather bud or whatever. Yeah. And if we used the same kind of thing, only just change the gateway to adventure, I mean, whatever you want to put on that banner, mm -hmm. then we might be able to go to whoever does their stuff mm -hmm. and get it done for a whole lot less. Yeah, I'll have to look at it. I haven't yeah. seen what their logo is, yeah. but um, you know that stone lighthouse that you see when you come into right. town. Right, it's got both um, of them on there, and the little thing on the, the rock around the bottom. Mm -hmm. And it might be, you know, if it's if it's a outfit that's already doing mm -hmm. stuff for the town of Wareham, then we might be able to negotiate a better <laughs> price. Yeah, I'll have to look. So, yeah, Sharon, um, Elaine was looking at that, so I might want to talk to her about. Mm -hmm. that configuration and then too you know it looks very similar to what we've already been using so it's not mm -hmm. you know it's something that they're used to seeing so, so like, yeah I'll have to look at it identifiable so yeah I, I just I like the idea of a, a lighthouse and it makes total sense and it's a nice yeah yeah, yeah. Um, whenever you reach that point I'm sorry, Judy, I'm really hard of hearing. Whenever you, re whenever you reach that point, um, mm -hmm. the shirt shack, I've dealt with them for probably 15 or 20 years mm -hmm. uh, when I was teaching. Uh, we would have um, honor roll plaques. Mm -hmm. They would make up the plaques for me, and they were so good to me. I mean, they would change the yeah, name. And as a matter of fact, they never raised their price from when I first started, mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, wow. 15 years yeah. ago. So it, they really gave me breaks. So I know. The, the woman there that has it, so yeah, they I would do be willing our, to. Uh, they do our shirts for us. Yeah, yeah. I'd be willing to like uh, say hi to her and say, oh, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, absolutely. They did our um, volleyball 
yeah. trophy. So the they, mm -hmm. they, yeah. they're, they're, yeah, they're very good. Nice. They're yeah. really good. They're very flexible. I've, I got uh, some T-shirts for my brother-in-law's uh, tavern too, and they, they gave us a really good do deal. They do so stationery. Pardon me. Do they, they do stationery like letterheads and that? I don't kind know. Of I've stuff. never asked that. Yeah, it's just that's the what plaques we need. Is we need mm -hmm. really? I can, you know, yeah. I can find out. Yeah. Yeah. So, and we'll have to talk about, um, you know, t-shirts and things like that and how we would pay for those and if, uh, you yeah. know, the advocates wanted to sell them as like a fundraiser or something or even at cost. I, I don't know how that works. Yeah, yeah. Um, Mostly we're concerned with getting... Yeah, we heads. need the logo first to get yeah, through that, but... Um, okay. So, I don't know how we're going to figure that out, but anyway. Okay, citizens' participation. Nobody wanted to participate with us. So, is that it? That's it for me. I don't know if anyone else has anything. I did make up a sheet for um, Nicole. So, uh, I'll share, put it to Sharon to fill in her info, and then we'll oh. send it down. Oh. So that she can oh, okay. type that up for us. Yeah, that was my far better at it than I would be. Yeah, that was very crucial to me when I first started here. It was trying to, to knowing how to reach all of you. Yeah. you know. Right. I'm going to put the wrong phone number on mine. You're going to put the wrong phone number. No, that's what I do. Too late. I already have yours. <laughs> <laughs> the time for, for that moment is passed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Do that one right. <laughs> Okay, so uh, is that it? Are we done? Are we through? Um, yeah, I'd love to hear. How's the quilt raffle going? People interested or? They were. Um, didn't, I didn't get anybody yesterday at Bingo because they'd already seen it you mm -hmm. know, before. <coughs> One lady mailed a check in. Yes, yes. Melissa, Melissa brought me the, the $5 and I put it in the thing because mm -hmm. somebody had mailed a check-in for the quilt raffle, which I thought was pretty funny. Yeah. Um, I'm going to do it again this afternoon at the yoga group mm -hmm. and see, you know. Yeah, that's I, a good crowd there. Yeah. And the, the luncheon, right. too, are you planning to do it at the luncheon? or Because there's a lot of people who come to our luncheons, again, that Didn't we don't do it typically see. Did we just do it at I the... Yeah, I did it. At the last one. I did it at the last luncheon. Thanksgiving? Mm -hmm. no. no. You did not. I didn't. Okay. All right. Janet. Then we'll yeah. then we'll do it at the Christmas. Yeah. yeah. So space it. will be tight, but we'll figure out where to put you. Okay. Um, because we have so many people, the room and Carl, we need a dance floor. Yes. Um, <laughs> yeah. Well. He he's well, the entertainer. Can, you know, I can I can do it just beforehand and then just move it totally out. Uh huh. Because we're gonna have a sign in table. Right. Check and table, yep. So we do it right there. Mm -hmm. And then we, you know, once they're eating, then we just pack it up and give him that space anyway. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we can squeeze it in somewhere. Okay, that's good. Okay, now I'm really done. Just curious. Okay. I yeah. make a motion we adjourn. Second. 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 All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carried. Okay, fill in your information and we'll pass it around.